The question is, are you gonna buy the sneaker for resale or are you gonna buy it for personal? Let's go. In 1988, the Fire Red Freeze first got introduced to the world and then it retroed back in 2007 then it retroed again in 2013 and now it's retroing the nike air on the back in 2022 10th of september be ready let's get into it yo guys your boy jam got kicks back with another video today we're talking about the fire red freeze you already know women's men's kids everyone's copping without further ado Let's just go look at the sneaker. By the way, it's 180 pounds, aka 179 pounds, 95p. We got that midsole, that white and that red. We got an elephant print. The elephant print is so prominent and it's so iconic to the Jordan 3 silhouette. Bro, you can't have a Jordan 3 without elephant print. Obviously you can really, but you got the white leather on top. You got the red eyelids. You got the gray hits on the sneaker, red jump man on the tongue, big up there at the bottom of the outsole you got the gray white and red hits og bro then you look into the back of the sneaker what we've seen there what we've seen right there that's an upright there the nike air on the back and that's what we want you got the cardinal reds that's very prominent and very similar to this fire red but it's not exactly the same Nice sneaker nonetheless. Chain 10 out of 10, 10 out of 10, clean. I think stock's gonna be very high for this because it is an OG colorway. But what I gotta say is in America, it's very OG, but in the UK, it's not. Only the real sneakerheads know about this. Jordan 3s are not hype in the UK. It's not. So is this gonna sell out in the UK or not? Let's get into the data metrics to find out whether this is gonna be a sitter or if it's not. And uh, if it's not gonna be a sitter, how much will it resell for? Let's let, let's get it. We're looking across all the sizes. My size, US 11, aka a UK 10, 215 pounds. And then you go into something small like a men's seven, 224 pounds. So all the prices are around the 200 pricing. You already know about that. So it's 180 pounds retail and it's 215 pounds buy now right now i think when these drop these are gonna sit at 200 or the price that they're at now i can't lie to you i don't really see these going any lower it's already 180 benchmark a very sneaky drop on sneakers on their recent live and people copped and look at the price the price is still still holding some value like I said, the UK don't really appreciate Jordan 3s like that. So it makes sense why it could be low across the board or maybe just because inflation. If you're gonna get the sneaker, you're gonna get it to have your collection for nostalgia and for the vibes. And just because you love the sneaker and it just looks super damn clean with that Nike Air on the back. You hurry me? But if you want to resell, I just don't, I don't advise it. I don't advise it. And the people that will comment and say, should I still resell this? I'm saying to you now, should I have to repeat myself? I wouldn't resell this. But as always, that's been your boy Jam Got Kicks. I gave you all the information. But there's something else you got to do that's, that I haven't told you about. There's, there's one more thing I haven't told you about. And that is subscribing to the channel. Subscribe to the channel. You don't have notifications on. Your boys are going to be posting one to two videos per week. Hold me accountable to that. Comment down below what you liked in this video. Do you like the sneaker or do you not like the sneaker? Are you going to resell or are you going to buy it for personal? By the way, as always, I always put out a disclaimer. I am human. I can get things wrong. So I could get this whole information wrong about this whole sneaker. I could. But from my research, this is what it indicates too. So yeah. Is a hit or miss? Take what I say with a grain of salt. God bless. Treat people how you like to be treated, and your boy Jam Got Kicks is out. Peace, man.